The reason I would want to configure zone preference and failover is because I have servers in my Citrix farm in multiple zones. I have two servers here, press serve A and press serve B. And when I take a look at the farm details under the properties, I have these two servers set in two different locations. There's a London zone and a New York City zone. I have my apps published across both servers in both zones. I'd like to have client machines default to one zone or the other depending on where they're located. But I would also like that if one server were down there would be an automatic failover of the client machines let's say that point to New York City automatically failing over to London when press survey is down. So in order to configure this, the first thing I needed was servers in two zones, and that's what I have here. And this refers, the blue check refers to the fact that press survey is the most preferred data collector. The fact that it's up here in non-bold text is the fact that it won the election. I have two zones with two data collectors, and down here I am not clicking share load information across zones. To go to the command prompt, I can type qfarm and I see that I have two D's next to the two servers that refers to the fact that both are data collectors. When I type qfarm slash zone I find out that those are the data collectors of the London zone and the NYC zone. The idea is that I would like to have all the client subnets, these two client subnets defaulting to the London data center, these three other client subnets defaulting to the New York City data center, where either machine in either data center goes down, I want all the client subnets to fail over to the other data center. And in order to do this, I need to create two policies. I need to create a policy for each of these zones and set all the client IPs to default to that zone. And then I also need to declare the zone preference failover. So I'm going to go to the policies node of the presentation server console. I'm going to create the first policy, the NYC client's zone preference failover policy. And in the properties of the policy, in the properties of the zone preference failover policy, under user workspace connections, there's a zone preference and failover tab going to enable zone preference and failover and since this is the s policy for the New York City people I'm going to say that the NYC zone is the primary group the main place for it to look for a data collector then I'm going to say that if it ever doesn't find a data collector in the NYC I'm going to set London as the backup one backup group one realizing that I actually have the potential of backup groups one through ten so I'm setting the London zone as backup group 1 and NYC as the primary group and I click OK. This policy now needs to be assigned to all the client subnets that I want to defaulting, defaulting to the data center in New York. That would be the dot .6, dot .7, and .8 class C subnets. So I'm going to go right click apply policy 2. We're going to do this by IP address. We're going to make three entries here. The first one needs to be the dot .6 subnet. So I'm going to choose all the machines in the dot .6 subnet, 192.168.6.1 through 192.168.6.254. And now I've also got the dot .7 and dot sub, dot .8 subnet to add. Dot .7, dot .254. And I'm going to add the third subnet that defaults out to New York City, 192.168.6.254. 8.1 through 192.168.8.254. Now I'm assigning these three subnets to this policy because I know that these are the three subnets that I want defaulting to the New York Data Center and failing over to the London Data Center if there's ever a problem. And that's one half of the story. In order to do something about the other half, I need to create another policy. This is going to be the London. This is the London client's zone preference failover policy. Basically, I plan to do the reverse. In the properties of the London client zone preference failover policy, 
going to again user workspace connection zone preference failover this time I'm going to take the London zone and tell it that the London zone is the primary group meaning look for a data collector in the London zone and if you find one don't look any further if you ever don't find a London data collector then I'm going to set the New York City zone as the backup group one so that it will default failover to that finally I still have to assign this second policy it turns out it's the dot four and dot five subnets I want defaulting to the London data center and so I go back to apply this policy to and I go through client IP addresses again this time it's the dot four and dot five subnet 192.168.4.1 through 192.168.4.254 and my dot five subnet 192.168.5.1 through 192.168.5.254 so now I've configured zone preference and failover for all the clients out in the New York City and the around the London data center and the only other thing I have to worry about is the fact that zone preference failover only works with PN agent client software for the next lab I'm going to configure a PN agent site and roll out a PN agent client 